Hey guys, I've been taking apart the dash here and thought I'd just uh, film it a little bit. Um, kind of what I did first off was take off the uh, gauge cluster. It just has the the um, cover which you grab with both hands, one right there, one right there, and just pop off. And then you can check check your uh, brake fluid as well. But then there's the four screws that hold the gauge cluster on, and you also want to disconnect your um, headlight switch and all the other switches two on this side on this van and two on this side then disconnect the speedometer cable on the back let's see if i can find it here there it is you just pinch that and pull it off and then the actual um, gauge inputs right there so disconnect those then you can peel it off and then I stuffed these connectors through their holes and uh, so now it's free on this side. What I've also done is undo these horrible bolts. They're basically anti-theft uh, shear bolts. So they go right here. You have to use vice grips to take them off. Um, some people claim that these are for safety, but uh, through all my research, they're just um, they're just for anti-theft, essentially making it harder to disassemble the um, steering column. So I'm going to replace these horrible, terrible bolts with um, just standard bolts. Um, so next up, come over here and took off the heater cover and also the glove box and then uh, if we come back to the driver's side there's two uh, large um, Phillips head screws two on each side so one on this side and then one on the other side on the door pillar and then there's three smaller screws right here one in the middle and two on the sides essentially now we can also see that there are two large head Phillips uh, dispersed along the windshield there that's for the uh, windshield wiper assembly we don't need to uh, disconnect that so next up uh, I think I'm gonna drop the um, the steering uh, column a little bit I'm just gonna undo these bolts so that we have a little more clearance and then I'm gonna start disconnecting all of the uh, switches from lower on the, the gate the dash all of the uh, switches and whatnot have been removed. Um, I left the stereo in just because I didn't want to disconnect that from the dash itself. But you can unplug everything from the back here. And one thing that makes it a little easier is actually um, just moving this brace out of the way. Let's see if we can see that. That brace. And I actually just took out the other one. And they look like this. So this is this is the side that the security screw goes into, and then this side is just a 10 millimeter head that you need to sneak a small ratchet up into, and it connects right there. So we are ready to pull this guy out now. It's just barely hanging on. All right, here we have the dash out. Um, it's didn't take too long, but um, now it's time for the immense job of cleaning up just years of dust and whatnot. Uh, the purpose for pulling this out was to get to the uh, heater blower. Um, it seems to be seized. So to remove the uh, heater blower housing, um, there are six um, screws and they look like this right here big Phillips head screws and it requires a big long screwdriver or an extension with a big Phillips head um, let's see the one that I'm using is this guy big Phillips head and it's saying um, looks like 3x so pH 3 that's what we have right there and um, if you're lucky enough to be able to get access, good access to all of them, um, you can get those out. This one uh, had some rust on them, and uh, 
I had to drill two of them out. Um, there's one, you can kind of see down in there. Kind of a pain to get these drilled out. In any case, um, finally got it. It's just uh, sitting here now. Now I'm going to uh, disconnect the coolant lines and I'm gonna disconnect these as well, making sure to label. Next up, I just uh, removed the connector from the switch and uh, this also has a connect uh, black and red conductor that you have to undo uh, from this uh, connector in order to take the whole thing out. So that's ready to go. And the ground here I just disconnected from the lug that sits right here. So we're ready to pull this thing and take it to the bench. Okay, I finally got the case halves separated. You can see um, that there was a glue used on these tabs here. And um, that stuff is just a pain to get off. In any case, there weren't any clips. Um, usually I think there's 15 clips or so. And those weren't used either. It was just relying on this glue. So it took me a while to get this apart. So what I'm gonna do is uh, see if I can figure out a different attachment method because that glue sucks. Um, we'll take a look at the motor here. It was completely seized up and through brute force I uh, managed to get it so that it'll it will spin, but it's super hard. So something something happened with the windings or the bearing in here, something like that. In any case, a new one's on its way. The heater core looks great. So I'm not gonna replace it. It looks fantastic. No problems at all here. They're pretty expensive too, like around over $200. So I'm just gonna get this cleaned up, throw a new motor in it, and clean out the uh, dash and get it nice and spiffy. Here's the heater housing uh, all cleaned up and here's the old heater blower motor and you can see that it has a rubber uh, seal that goes all the way around it and it has a rubber o-ring that connects right here and these two rubber caps that sit right in here. Now I did get a new blower motor and I, uh, it did not come with the seal around the motor and I'm uh, assuming that's for air gaps as well as uh, isolation so you don't hear the motor spinning and rattling everything to death. Um, what I did was just get some rubber, uh, EPDM rubber from Home Depot and it looks like this and uh, seems to be working great. So it just uh, followed the contours here, and it also, this new one also came with the rubber o-ring and the two pads right there. So we're going to go ahead and get this installed and uh, continue from there. So the heater blower is installed now. The heater box is put back together, and since this one was glued and didn't rely on clips, um, what I did was just take a very small drill bit and drill down each of these tabs and put tiny uh, zip ties on them and in key spots I also put two. So um, this is going to hold it pretty nicely especially with the uh, price of the clips. Um, this this will work great and um, it's actually hidden by the dash so you're not actually going to see these zip ties so they're purely functional. And then another thing was these clips that hold the um, heater housing together or to the van actually busted off or cracked. So um, a good thing to have is a plastic welder and I just uh, melted the plastic and put them back on and they're pretty rigid now and um, it'd be a good thing to invest in if you had to uh, repair these. Glue just probably wouldn't do it. In any case, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this back into the van. All right, so we have the heater uh, box back in place, and I was only able to get five out of the six mounting points, the two on the front, two on that side, 
and then one on the lower side here the uh, bolt on the top uh, it was so rusted that the actual nuts uh, that's kind of welded in there um, had captured the bolt and uh, just snapped it off and I didn't feel like uh, messing with an easy out uh, on that just because we have five out of six mounting locations so it's solid we're good um, I just put the dash in and um, you know I started filming and decided you know what dash is basically just a reverse of disassembly so you know this is gonna wrap it up uh, for the dash you know it just kinda goes back the way you, you took it apart um, there aren't a ton of connections so don't let it um, uh, intimidate you it, it's honestly not a bad process you know just take your time and just really kind of enjoy getting this sucker clean and knowing that when you travel um, it's gonna be nice and clean you're not gonna be dealing with other people's junk so um, that kind of wraps it up thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you have any questions